Have you ever come across a television series that left an indelible mark on your memory? A show that not only entertained but also pushed the boundaries of what television could achieve. If you've ever had such an experience, you might have a cherished memory or a specific scene that has stayed with you throughout the years. One such remarkable series is I Spy, which graced the small screen in 1965. As we dive into the world of I Spy, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series in the comments below. We would love to hear your stories and memories. Now, let's set the stage with some random facts about the show. I Spy was not just your typical espionage series. It was a groundbreaking show that made history by featuring Bill Cosby and Robert Culp as the first African-American and white actors to co-star in a television series. This dynamic duo played the roles of secret agents who traveled the world, using their wits and charisma to solve missions. The show was a blend of action, humor, and espionage, making it a unique and memorable part of television history. So, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to I Spy? We're eager to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Share your thoughts and let's relive this iconic series together. I Spy, a groundbreaking 1965 TV series, was a pioneer in several aspects. Created by Sheldon Leonard, it not only marked one of the earliest instances of racial diversity on American television, but also blended the spy genre with a buddy cop format. The show's dynamic duo, Kelly Robinson, portrayed by Bill Cosby, and Alexander Scott, played by Robert Culp, were American agents posing as a tennis player and his trainer, respectively. This unique setup took them on globe-trotting espionage missions, often set against the backdrop of scenic international locations, infusing the series with a refreshing cosmopolitan style. I Spy was renowned for its character-driven storytelling, where the charismatic banter and camaraderie between Robinson and Scott took center stage. The show's impact on popular culture was significant, not only for its progressive casting, but also for its memorable theme music and fashion-forward aesthetic. The series not only won critical acclaim, but also made history by earning Bill Cosby three consecutive Emmy Awards, setting a lasting precedent in the entertainment industry. I Spy remains a testament to the power of diversity in storytelling and its ability to shape TV narratives, making it a landmark series in the annals of television history. The TV series I Spy from 1965 was notable for being the first American dramatic series to feature a black actor in a lead role. Bill Cosby played a co-starring role alongside Robert Culp. The show broke new ground by showcasing diversity in a lead role on television during a time when such casting was uncommon. The scripts for the series incorporated unique lingo, and one catchphrase, wonderfulness, gained popularity. Bill Cosby later used this catchphrase as the title for one of his comedy albums. I Spy centered around two agents, Kelly and Scott who worked for the special services agency attached to the Pentagon. Interestingly, Cosby was initially uninterested in the series and even insulted the producers during his audition. However, Robert Culp mediated between them, ultimately helping Cosby secure his role in the show. This groundbreaking series paved the way for increased representation in television, and its impact is still felt today. The TV series I Spy, which aired in 1965, featured a notable theme music written by Earl Hagen, known for composing other famous TV show themes like The Andy Griffith Show, The Dick Van Dyke Show, and The Sultry Harlem Nocturne. Additionally, the show's lead actor, Robert Culp, wrote seven episodes, which he claimed were the only ones filmed exactly as written. The series was also known for its improvisational banter between Culp and co-star Bill Cosby, with both actors often dissatisfied with the scripts and taking it upon themselves to rewrite much of their dialogue. This behind-the-scenes insight into the show's production gives a glimpse into the creative process that made I Spy a distinctive series in its time. The 1965 TV series, I Spy, created quite a buzz during its time. Featuring the charismatic duo of Alexander Scott and Kelly Robinson as undercover agents, it brought a fresh perspective to the world of espionage. Their adventures were filled with intrigue, wit, and thrilling espionage missions, captivating audiences week after week. As the series progressed, the backstory of our dynamic duo began to unfold. Near the end of the second season, a surprising revelation was made. 
they had been signed as agents in 1964. This added an extra layer of complexity to their characters, making fans even more engrossed in the unfolding narrative. Interestingly, Robert Culp, one of the actors in the show, had a significant role behind the scenes as well. Before I Spy, he had penned a pilot script for a James Bond-type American spy series. This script eventually found its way into the show, becoming an episode titled The Tiger. Culp's influence on the series, both in front of and behind the camera, was undeniably instrumental in shaping the show's success. I Spy even found itself lampooned in the pages of Mad Magazine as Why Spy, a testament to its cultural impact. The show's blend of action, humor, and espionage made it a unique presence in the spy genre, and it remains a cherished part of television history. Its legacy endures, a testament to the enduring appeal of well-crafted spy thrillers. The TV series I Spy from 1965 faced several challenges during its run. One significant issue was its constant budget overruns, mainly due to shooting in foreign locations. Additionally, the show did not air on some NBC affiliates in the American South because it portrayed an African-American actor, Bill Cosby, on the same level as a white actor, Robert Culp. This was a controversial move for its time. Furthermore, the series' ratings declined in its third season. The decline was partly attributed to a time slot change from Wednesday nights to Monday nights, where it competed against The Carol Burnett Show. As a result, NBC offered executive producer Sheldon Leonard a choice, renew I Spy or create a new series. Leonard chose to produce My Friend Tony instead, believing that continuing I Spy might diminish its syndication value since the show was struggling with new ideas. Culp and Cosby, the lead actors, were also ready to move on from the series and were relieved when it was cancelled. In summary, I Spy faced budget challenges, controversy over its portrayal of race, and declining ratings in its third season, leading to its eventual cancellation in 1968. These factors contributed to the series' unique place in the history of television. The 1965 TV series I Spy was notable for its groundbreaking casting choice. Originally, Bill Cosby's character, Alexander Scott, was supposed to be an older mentor to Robert Culp's trainee agent, Kelly Robinson. Executive producer Sheldon Leonard changed this plan after seeing one of Cosby's routines. Given the racial tensions of the time, the writers included a racial joke at Cosby's expense in an early episode, Danny Was a Million Laughs, featuring guest star Martin Landau. However, Culp and Cosby insisted that no more racial jokes be made in the series, and the demand was honored throughout its run. Beyond the show, Bill Cosby and Robert Culp remained good friends even after the production of I Spy ended. Their camaraderie extended beyond the screen, showcasing the genuine friendship that developed during their time working together on the series. This dynamic casting choice and the strong bond between the two lead actors are significant aspects of I Spy, contributing to the show's lasting impact in the world of television. As we bid adieu to the captivating world of I Spy, it's a moment to pause and reflect. This iconic 1965 TV series holds a special place in the hearts of many, and your unique connection to it is what makes it all the more remarkable. The adventures of Kelly Robinson and Alexander Scott, portrayed by Bill Cosby and Robert Culp, took us on a thrilling ride through the world of espionage, friendship, and cultural exploration. Now, as you've journeyed through this remarkable series, I encourage you to take a moment and revisit your own memories and thoughts about I Spy. Was it the dynamic duo's camaraderie that struck a chord with you, or perhaps the exotic locales that left an indelible mark? Maybe it was the suspenseful missions or the timeless charm of the 1960s that drew you in. Whatever it may be, your personal connection to I Spy is a story worth sharing. So, tell us, what's your favorite memory or thought about this groundbreaking show? Did it inspire your sense of adventure, or did it ignite your passion for the world of espionage? Share your reflections, and let's keep the spirit of I Spy alive in the 21st century. Thank you for taking this journey with us, and for your time and interest in the world of I Spy. Your unique perspective is what makes this series truly timeless. Keep those memories alive, and let's continue to celebrate the legacy of I Spy together. Until next time, stay inspired, and remember, it's all about the thrill of the chase.